Hey guys, what's going on? It's Empirant from twitch.tv slash Empirant. Uh, I just want to make a quick video today uh, exploring hill bonus and specifically uh, how it handles units that only are dealing one damage in Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. So, uh, most of you know that hills uh, in Age of Empires give the higher ground a 25% attack bonus and the lower ground is going to get a 25% reduction in the damage that they do. So being uphill means you're dealing 25 extra damage to your opponent and also receiving 25% less damage. Now, this is easy to figure the math out when units all have 100 health, deal 10 damage to each other, and you just take 25% of that, and all the numbers work out great, and it's really easy. A slightly more confusing time to figure out how the game handles this is when you have units that are only dealing, say, one damage to an opponent. So let's say you have Feudal Age Archers attacking uh, Skirmishers with the armor upgrade, uh, or if you don't have Fletching, just attacking regular Skirmishers, you're going to only be doing one damage to their Skirmishers with your Archers. So is it worth taking a hill? Uh, is it not worth taking the hill? Do you actually get any bonus damage, or are you still just doing one damage? So I wanted to take a look at that some, and I've set up some uh, scenarios here to check out so that we can show exactly what's going on and uh, find out what's really happening. All right, so first thing first, I just wanted to go over real quick uh, and show you how the hill bonus usually works. So as we said, uh, if you're uphill, you are going to be dealing 25% bonus damage, and you're also going to be receiving 25% less damage. Uh, most of you probably already know this, but just a quick refresher and to show it in action here, I've got two Feudal Age Archers. Both Archers are fully unupgraded, so they're dealing 4 damage. They each have 30 HP. They're set to heal, so this guy will heal in uh, just a second here. Uh, but then you will see... Uh, with us uphill, we should be dealing one bonus damage since we normally do four. 25% more means we'll be dealing five. And our opponent here uh, also normally would do four. So he should be dealing 25% less damage to us. So he should be dealing only three damage. So let's check it out, see if that stays true. Uh, you can see we are doing five damage every time from being up on the hill. And our opponent is only dealing three damage to us since he's downhill from us. So uh, the hill bonus works exactly as intended in the game. We're doing 25% more damage from the top. He's doing 25% less from the bottom. All right. But now let's see how it starts to behave when things get a little bit trickier than just dealing four damage. All right. So now we have... Uh, an extreme example. You can see we still have our same Feudal Age Archer dealing just 4 damage. And we also now have a Huskarl with 6 Pierce Armor. So we would do... Uh, you'll never do less than 1 damage. So we would only be doing 1 uh, damage if we were on ground. Or on flat ground. But now if we're uphill, we can see if we do any more damage. Now the Huskarl uh, does get some bonus damage against us. So that throws off the numbers a little bit to figure out exactly um, how much he should be doing. He gets uh, 5 bonus damage against us. So uh, he should be doing 25% less of that. So he should be doing about 12 damage to us with the 25% uh, reduction. Because he normally does 10 damage. Then he also gets plus 5 uh, bonus damage against Archer. Alright. Uh, let's unpause and see if our Archer gets any advantage as far as damage dealt to the Huskarl. Or if we continue to just do one damage always. So far we're just doing one damage. And if we continue watching it, we'll actually find that we never do more than one damage. So here, the uh, increase in elevation is not going to help us out. Uh, at least as far as dealing damage. Again, you can see we only take about 12 damage on the hill, whereas if we move off the hill, you'll find we're taking uh, 16 damage. So uh, it is helping us there. We're taking uh, 4 less damage, 
from him. But we are still dealing one damage no matter what. So in this situation, the hill uh, does not cause any extra damage to our opponent because his pierce armor is higher than our uh, damage that we're causing. All right, now this uh, scenario here is going to give us a better look at exactly how this works and what we can po potentially do with it. So uh, here we have a number of Arbalists as well as a couple Feudal Archers and again Huskarls. So what we have here is a regular Feudal Age Archer uh, on flat ground with a Huskarl and a regular Feudal Age Archer on a hill against a Huskarl. So according to the test we just did, these two should kill the Huskarl at the exact same time. Now up here, we have a totally generic no, uh, no upgrade Arbluster, again on a Huskarl. They now, uh, the amount of damage the Arbluster does and the amount of armor the Huskarl has matches exactly, so we should still only be doing one damage. All right. However, here's an interesting one. We now have 6 plus 1 on this Arbalester, so he should be doing 7 damage, and our opponent only has 6 armor. Unfortunately, you subtract uh, armor from the damage to find out how much you're doing. So even though we're doing 7 damage and he has 6 pierce armor, we're still only going to do 1 damage because 7 minus 6 is 1. So this Arbalester with plus 1 will do no better against this Huskarl, than our uh, totally generic baseline Arbaluster uh, up here. However, on the hill is where things start to get a little interesting. Here we have an Arbaluster with no increases at all. So he's still matching the pierce armor of the other Huskarl. They're both uh, six. So he should be doing only one damage. And from our test earlier, we saw that the archer only does one damage. Or when the archer's on a hill and it's only doing one damage, it won't kill the Huskarl any faster. And you will find that here. So this Arbalester should be doing only one damage at all times to this Huskarl. But at the very end here, we have an Arbalester doing seven damage. So it's doing just as much damage as the Arbalester up here. But now the hill is actually going to take an effect. And what you're going to find is about... Every fourth arrow fired by this Arbalester, we're going to do two damage to the Huskarl instead of one. Even though normally on flat ground, we would only be doing one damage. So if this works out right, this Huskarl should die when all of the other Huskarls have around 15 HP left. So let's see if it works out. So the fire rates are a little off from each other for some reason. You can see it down here. Occasionally we do two damage. 46, 45, 43. So occasionally we're doing two damage. And we can see the other Huskarls have a bit more HP than this one here. Even though uh, this has plus one, this has plus one, this one's only doing one damage. This hill is giving uh, every third or fourth shot uh, an extra damage. So let's move our guy up to the side so he doesn't uh, start attacking a different one if this is done. We'll find when that one dies, these other Huskarls should have around 15 HP. Alright, so just under. But now you can see all the other Huskarls should die at almost exactly the same time. Uh, if there's any variation, it might just be if the Feudal Archer's missed or anything like that. Alright. So, Hill Bonus does take effect as long as you have one more attack than the enemy has Pierce Armor, or Melee Armor, depending on uh, what units you're using. Um, so, But anything below that, the Hill Bonus, at least as far as damage done, is not going to help you out. Lastly, how can you actually apply this to the game at all? So I wouldn't generally worry about this aspect too much. Um, if you can reasonably get to higher ground to take a fight, it's always worth doing so. There's no reason to avoid it. 
Uh, you don't need to start trying to do math real quick in your head to figure out, hey, am I going to get any extra attack? Am I not? Uh, generally, it's still better to take the hill because even if uh, we're in a situation where we won't get the bonus attack, uh, we will still be receiving less damage. So it's usually still worth it at least to get part of it. So in this situation, we have a unupgraded archer against an unupgraded skirmisher. You can see we have four attack. The skirmisher has three armor. So if we're on flat ground, we are only going to be doing one damage to him. All right. However, at least when we hit. However, if we go take the hill, now you can see we are going to occasionally do two damage. So, yeah, you can see there we did two damage instead of just the normal one. So in this case, it's worth it for us to be taking the hill as far as damage goes. And then again, we're also going to take less damage. So now we're only taking four damage, whereas if we come onto flat ground, you can see we are now going to take uh, five damage. All right. That's all from you guys. Uh, I'm going to explore in a future video exactly how doing 25% less damage affects units that are only doing, say, uh, two damage. Uh, so kind of a similar video, but with the opposite effect. Uh, but for now, that's all I've got. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, stop by the Twitch sometime. That's twitch.tv slash empirant. Uh, link is down in the description below. And otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And I will see you on the stream sometime. Thanks for watching.